Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build big biceps the Massive Iron Way. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, let me get my slide up here. What do we want? What do we want? Big or small? How about we go big? How about we go big? All right, guys, this is how to, I'm going to comb through how I build workouts. So I'm going to try to equip you to build workouts kind of the way I build workouts. Now, this is just a general set of guidelines. It's not a carved in stone set of rules. So feel free to play with this and adjust this as needed. All right, first off, some basic structures. I start with four exercises every two weeks. What does this mean? Doesn't matter whether I'm doing a full body uh, workout, upper, lower, push, pull, legs, uh, body part split. I try to get in some exercise variation. This is good for hypertrophy. Uh, this is good for the muscle building process. So I try to get in four exercise variations every two weeks. If you want to dumb that down to three, that's fine, but this is a really good starting point. Second, I, I try to start with about six sets per week or three sets per exercise. Pretty simple. Now, if during the course of gym time where you feel like, hey, I could add a set or I need to drop a set here or there, feel free to make adjustments. With some exercises like Easy Bar Curl 21s, which I give to a lot of my clients, I'll only do two sets per exercise because they are a little bit more intense. All right, number three, focus on maximizing at least one set per exercise when possible. What does this mean? Maximizing an exercise means pushing it for as many quality reps as possible, stopping that set when you feel like you're going to fail on the next rep or when your form is going to break down. You want to do that on at least one set. Generally, I do that on the last set of exercises or I have clients do that on the last set of exercises. And let me give you a quick example. Uh, let's say you're doing 10 reps. Let's say a workout has three sets of 10 reps. I would use the same weight, whether it's dumbbell or barbell, whatever exercise you're doing, cable or machine, use the same weight. So let's say you're using 35-pound dumbbells. You do 10 reps, 10 reps, and then max reps, uh, max safe reps. So on the last set, let's say you go two over your target, which is 10, you would add weight the next time in. So you're doing at least one set maximized. Now you can do two or you can do three. You can adjust that week in and week out. Uh, you can do the rep goal system, which is covered in my book, Massive Iron, uh, where you add up the total reps for all three sets. You get a target. And then if you hit your goal, you add weight. Many ways to work this, many ways to adjust this, but at minimum, you need a progression indicator which is determined by that max rep set. All right, number four, punch yourself in the face when possible. What does this mean? When you are performing an exercise, when you're curling it up to your face, at the end, if you bring it up a little bit, rotate your elbow a little bit, you can really feel a good bicep uh, contraction, a lot of extra stress and pressure on your bicep. So let's say you're doing cable curls and you get it up here. You can rotate your elbows up and really feel squeeze and feel that contraction. I want you to try that. I want you to bring both arms up. And then when you get it about here, rotate your elbows up and squeeze your biceps. That's what I call punching yourself in the face. It's not possible on every exercise, but it's possible on a lot of bicep exercises. A little bit of elbow rotation and a little bit of extra bicep squeeze. Uh, finally, at least three lifts in your uh, in your exercise selection must allow for reasonable progression. What do I mean by that? A reasonable progression is like a dumbbell curl or a barbell curl where, where you have a lot more room or a reasonable amount of room to progress or get stronger uh, with weight, okay? Um, so dumbbell curls, easy bar curls, barbell curls, even things like cable curls, a lot of uh, pinwheel curls, a lot of bicep exercises 
allow for progression. There are some that don't allow for a lot of progression, like single arm cable curls or concentration curls. You can allow for one of those in each workout. Oh, that's okay. But uh, or in, in each uh, two week block, that's okay. But uh, you want to make sure at least three of your lifts allow for reasonable, reasonable progression. All right, slide two here. The massive iron way. Let's talk about exercise uh, variations. You want to uh, consider having a dumbbell curl variation. This could be a pinwheel, could be a stretch variation. What's a stretch? Well, if you if you incline, if you do an incline uh, seated incline curl, you're leaning back. You really get a good stretch on your your bicep compared to just a standing curl. So that's kind of a stretch uh, dumbbell curl variation. Alternating. Uh, dumbbell curls, standing, concentration curls, that's a dumbbell curl variation as well, a single arm curl variation. I recommend when you're doing either the uh, standing dumbbell curl, uh, whether you're doing the um, seated incline curl, to do them alternating, you can lean in a little bit and really get a slightly better uh, feel on the biceps. Now, you you also want to consider a barbell or easy bar variation. I prefer easy bar because it's easier on my uh, wrists and my joints. You can do standard curls. You can do 21s. You can do drag curls. Um, you could even, when you're at the end of these, you could throw in a little bit of English and do a little bit of uh, cheek curls at the end. Now, there's room uh, in the mix. Now that you got your dumbbell and barbell curl variation uh, or variations picked out, there's room for a personal favorite uh, that could be, or it could be two personal favorites. If you have some, some exercises or some room for two personal favorites, uh, you know, again, make sure three of your exercises have good room for progression. Personal favorites could be really anything, machine curls, single arm cable curls, hammer curls. I do a couple that I really like. Uh, one, if you sit on the, sit on the seated row machine, and put on the easy bar attachment, you can curl up to your face and then you can do the punch thing at the end. I also like to do reverse grip lat pull downs. When you do them, make sure you're curling down, pulling down with your biceps and not, and not with your lats. And finally, if you have extra energy, uh, you can do a, a finisher. You can do run the rack on dumbbell curls, run the stack on cable curls, uh, you can do 50s where you try to get to 50 total reps, rest, pause style, all kinds of uh, interesting things. Now, with that said, uh, your main variations, uh, you know, dumbbell curls or easy bar curls, they could be done rest, pause, or bulldozer uh, with a bulldozer method as well. All right. I'm going to give you guys three quick workout variations uh, to end this video. Workout A, you see W1 and W2. That's week one, week two, or workout one, workout two. You can uh, slice this and dice this any way you want, depending on if you're running a full body, uh, depending on if you're doing a, um, a upper lower or you're doing a, a bro split slash pro split. With a bro split, pro split, this is easy. You can just alternate week one, week two. With an upper lower, um, you can kind of – during uh, upper one, you want one variation. Uh, and during upper two, you want another variation. And then the next week, when you do upper one and upper two, you could switch to the secondary variations. And on a full body, uh, you really have to be smart about this. You can probably get in at least three exercises. Make sure they have really good room for progression, at least two of them on a full body. And then, uh, you know, the third you know, basically one exercise a day. So workout A, we have a dumbbell curl variation and sets and reps really don't matter. I'm just kind of mixing things up here for, uh, you know, mixing up the rep ranges, making mixing up the exercises, just giving a wide variety of uh, exercises, rep ranges and, and protocols to stimulate bicep growth. We have dumbbell curls, three sets of 10. On the last rep, you could do max safe reps. And if you get to 12, then add weight. Easy bar curls. Um, here we're breaking the rules of having three sets per exercise. Two by 21 on the 21s. Uh, week two or workout two, you have pinwheel curls, uh, three by eight. And then you could do cable curls, bulldozer style. What is bulldozer style? Basically, it's five sets, mini sets, with about 15 to maximum of 20 
uh, seconds of rest between. So you do max safe reps, and then you rest 15 seconds, do another max safe reps, and you continue that over the course of five sets, the rest pause style. When the top set or the first set gets to about 12 or more, then you're going to uh, add weight the next time you perform that exercise. All right. Workout B, we have seated incline dumbbell curls, 3 by 12 We bumped the rep range a little bit. Uh, and we have barbell curls, 3 by 8 We lowered them a bit. And then workout two, single arm cable curls. You can really get that good feel. I like to do these bent over, leaning over and kind of sideways uh, in the in the uh, cable station. I can really feel a good bicep contraction uh, that way. And then I put in easy bar drag curls, uh, three sets by 10. Again, on any of these, you could uh, do it, the rep goal system where you could maximize three sets. How does the rep goal system work? Well, let's say you're doing easy bar drag curls and your rep goal is, let's say, 28 reps, okay? What does that mean? Well, you do all sets for max safe reps, then you add up the reps for each set. Let's say it's 12, uh, 9, and 8. That would be 29. Our rep goal was 28. We hit it or did greater, so next time we do this exercise, we would add weight. And finally, one more workout example Workout C, we do plain plain Jane easy bar curls, three sets of 12. Seated cable curls to our face. That's the exercise I talked about. You sit on the seated row machine and you put on the easy bar attachment and you curl them to your to your face. You basically keep your, your arm parallel to the ground so you don't move that. You're not rotating that much. Workout two or week two would be machine curls. That's kind of a, a pet exercise. And dumbbell 50s. What I like to do is, um, this is kind of a finisher. You can do uh, 50 reps per arm or 50 total reps. Basically, you get something like 25-pound dumbbells or something relatively light that's not going to kill you, and you alternate uh, until you get to 50 total reps. You can rest a little bit if you need to. Again, this is rest-pause style. You can rest a little bit if you need to. Uh, but just don't set the dumbbells down. All right, guys, that's building bigger biceps, a massive iron way. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Head over to my website, superlivetoday.com. If you need some more workout ideas, I have a workout tab filled with tons of workouts. And if you need coaching, check out the, check out the link uh, down below. So, guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.